Hello, this video is going to uh, demonstrate how to use some of the additional books and modules that we have available in Radar Opus. Uh, the first of which is Roger Morrison's desktop companion to physical pathology. So if I go ahead and open that book, um, I can do that with Command 2, which is the same as pressing this icon here for references. Now I'm just going to start uh, typing his name and you'll see in therapeutics there's the book. So I click there, close that table and I can just start looking inside the book here. I can resize the text if I like with command and then the scroll wheel of the mouse. Or I have icons here for doing the same thing. So F2 is the same as pressing the binoculars there and you can go to a particular chapter that you'd like to study or that your patient has. Um, so in we go, press enter and there you can see the text. So he gives some really good um, rubrics there that you can use in cases of, for example, urinary tract infection. And then it goes on to give the keynotes for the remedies. <clears throat> so let's um, open the concepts document as well. I'll close this one, Command W. Concepts document is in the repertories list there, so Command 1. And again, just start typing the name of the author, easiest way to find it. So I click here, close that one, and I can do the same F2 to start navigating and go into the same part of the book. And then we can see that there are a whole list of rubrics there that we might want to use. So let's have a look at that one. So it takes us to that part of the repertory and then we can take the symptom into our clipboard. So when we're using the expert system, which is the other module that um, I want to talk about, uh, which is the module designed by George Vitolkis, uh, you, you need to add um, intensity um, to your symptoms for the algorithm to work. So um, there's various ways of doing that. Um, once you've clicked on the symptom, you can just right click, take the rubric, and give it an intensity there. Okay. The other the other option, which there is always more than one, uh, the shortcut is F6, and then you can just type the um, intensity that you'd like. Okay. And then if you want to go back to the previous document, you can use Command F6, which is the same as sort of go back, go forward. Okay. And you can look what else is here go to that part of the repertory and use the shortcut this time, F6, and say that, give that an intensity of 2 and take that symptom. And, you know, that would be a process of using that concepts document. So if I just, uh, here's one I made earlier, um, and load that. So uh, I've used the command, um, command R to recall. I'm going to say date save. So I'm recalling from a folder um, because it's not an actual patient. But if I recall that demo, so what you see is my rubrics have all got an intensity here. And I've um, put them into two different clipboards to demonstrate how the Photographer's Expert system works. So it kind of uses a combination of these different analysis methods that you see down here. So I think what it uses is a combination of this one, small remedies and small rubrics, so it gives those quite a lot of um, weight in the analysis and also prominence, so those would be like strong keynotes of the remedy, like where, you know, where the intensity is, three or four. Um, so if we load that module, you'll see that it's brought out sarsaparilla it tells you which rubrics it has. Up here you can enable this and it will tell you which rubrics it doesn't have. So in this case none. But when we can look at the next remedy on the list 
and it also brings out medium and small remedies too. So really nice, really nicely presented information there. So you can also add to the keynotes in this screen. And with the same shortcut command and the mouse scroll wheel, you can resize the window. OK, so if I go back to my analysis and add in these mind symptoms as well. So I press command and click on the clipboard to add that in to the analysis. So you can see there's a few remedies here that have all those symptoms. But if I go back into the expert system, you'll see that you know there's a remedy further down the list, um, which is a real, you know, what we've got here is that the keynote of the patient and the keynote of the remedy are a really good match. And what um, the module also does is it it makes the you know it has a Kentian hierarchy, so the mind symptoms are given more prominence in the uh, in the final evaluation. So that's that's pretty much it for this demo. But one thing I've been experimenting with and found quite interesting is you can limit the analysis to a view within the module as well. So by default it's set to the Vitolkas view, but I can change that if I have, you know, done a kind of kingdom analysis in my um, for the patient as well. I can limit to just look at animal remedies, for example. If you get rid of the keynotes here, it's a little bit quicker moving between the remedies. So even if you don't use it in this way for your patients, you will actually, you know, learn which rubrics are in which of these small remedies. Um, and I think that that's a, a great use of, you know, an unexpected use of the module as well. Oh, I can change it to only minimal remedies. <clears throat> And it's just really nice the way it presents you with medium and small as well as large remedies. It's um, and then plants. Yeah, so all good food for thought. So thanks for watching.